Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Year-End Support Topic. In this topic, we will review the process to resolve the error problem initializing the year-end wizard. If the error problem initializing the year-end wizard occurs when attempting to close a fiscal year, it may mean that one or more of your company files are damaged. This error can also be caused by network connectivity issues. For this reason, make sure that you are closing the year on the computer that is hosting your data. If you still receive the error, please continue with the steps outlined in this topic. To correct this issue, you will need to perform one or more of the following tasks. First, you will rename possibly damaged, non-critical files in your company data folder. Next, you will check for general company data inconsistencies by running the data verification test. Finally, you will check for data synchronization issues by running the chart of accounts slash journal synchronization test. You can print out the instructions outlined in this topic by accessing the Sage 50 knowledge base on the web and searching for article 11170. Please be aware of the following. Use caution when following the steps outlined in this video. If necessary, seek the assistance of a qualified network administrator, Sage Partner, or Sage 50 Customer Support Analyst. Always create a backup of your Sage 50 company data before proceeding with the advanced steps outlined in this topic. Before attempting to correct the issue, follow the instructions outlined in this topic on the computer that hosts the company data. This will help avoid possible network restrictions while the problem is corrected. Log on to the host computer as a computer administrator. This will ensure that you will be able to modify Sage 50 files stored on the computer if necessary. And log in to your Sage 50 company data with administrator or full access credentials. You will need to have full access to all areas of the program during this process. To resolve this issue, you may be asked to run specialized database integrity checks included in the program. To ensure that you have the most recently available integrity check utility, please install the latest service release for Sage 50 Accounting. To check for product updates, on the main menu bar, select Services, and then check for updates. On the Sage 50 Online Update window, click Check Now. If an update is available, click the download button and follow the provided instructions. Before walking through the tasks outlined in this topic, you should first make a backup of your current company data. To make a backup, select the System Navigation Center and in the Backup and Restore Data section, click Backup Now. On the Backup Company window, click the Backup button. You will not need to add this backup to your regular backup set. Click inside the file name and name the backup something unique. Once the problem is resolved, you can delete this backup. After making a backup, continue to the next step. This error can occur when damaged, non-critical data files exist in your company data folder. In this step, you will rename files that may be damaged and have Sage 50 create new undamaged versions of the files. You can determine the location of your company data folder by accessing the System Navigation Center and in the Company Maintenance section, make note of the directory path. Now exit Sage 50 and use Windows Explorer to browse to your company data folder. In this folder, you will need to rename certain company files with the DAT file extension. If you do not see file extensions, you can turn them on in Windows 8 and Windows 10 by selecting View at the top of Windows Explorer and then checking File Name Extensions. In Windows 7, select Tools, then Folder Options, click the View tab, and then uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Now rename the following files. Rename Alarm.dat to Old Alarm.dat. Rename Alert.dat to Old Alert.dat. Rename AuditTR.dat to Old 
audittr.dat, rename eventcls.dat to old eventcls.dat, rename eventlog.dat to old eventlog.dat, and finally rename jrnlcls.dat to old jrnlcls.dat. If the event CLS and journal CLS files do not exist, that's okay. You can skip them. When finished, exit Windows Explorer and then open your company in Sage 50. As your company opens, Sage 50 will prompt you to create new empty versions of many of the files that you just renamed. Click Yes to these prompts. Now try to close the year. If the problem has not been resolved, please continue to the next step. In this next step, you will verify the integrity of your company data using the Data Verification Utility. Data Verification scans the information in your data and will correct many common errors it may find. These errors may be causing the problem that you are experiencing. Before running this test, you should change the accounting period to period 1. Click the accounting period icon on the main window, select accounting period 01 in the list, and then click OK. Next, select the System Navigation Center, and in the Data Integrity section, click the Verify Data Now button. The data verification window displays. Leave both tests checked and click the Start button. The backup window displays. This is a required backup. Leave DV in the name so that you can identify it as a data verification backup. When the backup completes, the data verification process will begin automatically. Depending on the size of your data, this unattended portion of the verification process may take several minutes. At the end of the test, you will be informed of any errors that data verification found. If errors were found and corrected, click the error log button to view the details. Otherwise, click close. After the test is complete, change back to your current accounting period and then try to close the year. If you still receive the error, restore the backup made during your most recent close attempt and continue to the next troubleshooting step. In this step, you will run the Chart of Accounts Journal Synchronization Test. This test is more intensive than data verification and is used to deep scan the data for file errors and correct synchronization issues with your general ledger information that may cause the problems that you are experiencing. Before running the test, change the accounting period back to period 1. Click the accounting period icon on the main window, select accounting period 1 in the list, and then click OK. Next, select Help on the main menu bar, select Support Utilities, and then select Integrity Check. The Integrity Checker window displays. Click the Backup button to make a backup. Rename the backup file name so that you can identify it as your Integrity Check backup. After the backup completes, the Integrity Check window displays. There are four steps in this process. First, you will re-index three files one at a time. Re-indexing these files ensures that they are not damaged. If you receive an error during a re-index step, you will need to restore an earlier backup and re-index the file again. Only when there are no errors when re-indexing a file can you then proceed. Check the re-index files option. In the re-index file list, select Chart. Now click OK. You may see a progress window display. When it's finished, you will be placed back in the main program window. Select Help on the main menu bar again, Support Utilities, and then select Integrity Check. On the Integrity Checker window, click the Continue button. Check the re-index files option, and in the re-index file list, select JRNL header. Now click OK. 
When it's finished checking the file, you'll be placed back in the program's main window. Once again, select Help, Support Utilities, and then Integrity Check. Click Continue. Check the Reindex Files option. In the Reindex File list, select JRNL Rows and click OK. When it's finished, you'll be placed back in the program's main window. Once again, select Help, Support Utilities, and then Integrity Check. Click Continue, and this time, check the Chart of Accounts slash Journal option. This test is run to correct several common general ledger errors. It will also resync the general ledger information with your chart of accounts. Now click OK. During this process, if synchronization errors are found, you will be prompted that they have been corrected. In this demonstration, the chart of accounts journal test was completed without errors. After the test is complete, change back to your current accounting period. Now try to close your year again. If the problem still persists, please contact Sage 50 Customer Support for further assistance.